This shit dried out, so now it looks kind of crazy. But at least you know it's my hair, though. You feel me? I know because I seen somebody message me. They like. They like, um, that's not your real hair. I'm tired of arguing about my hair every damn other fucking day. Like, y'all not finna tell me this not my fucking real hair. Do you not see my motherfucking scalp? Like, must do I gotta go? I got so much hair you can't even see my scalp. Hold on. <laughs> do y'all not see my scalp, bitches? Yeah, like, people really be trying to argue with me about my fucking hair. How y'all finna argue with me about my hair, bitch? Like, this is my hair. This is what I was wearing on TV. It is hella heavy. Yeah, like, they be resharing, like, pictures of me and my hair. And it's like, my hair is poofy, my hair is wavy, my hair is curly. It depends on how much product I put in this shit. But that's what I'm saying. Like they be they be reposting these pictures like her wig, her wig, her wig fucked up. Like, bitch, this is my fucking hair. Y'all act like y'all never seen y'all never seen a black girl with some fucking hair, bro. So I'm not finna be arguing with y'all motherfuckers about my hair, like. And yes, I'm black, Mexican, and Samoan. So, bitch, stop playing with me. Black, Mexican, and Samoan. For you hoes in the back. Anyways, um, I got hella shit going on. I'm gonna make all the announcements I need to make after this week. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I always do my big one on you bitches. Y'all stay talking about my rapping. It's not even... A lot of people don't even talk shit about my rapping. It'd be like, new motherfuckers that didn't know I rap. I don't know how you didn't know that. Um. Um, before I got on TV, I was already rapping. I'm actually known for my music, like, and it's like, I'm known by the people that matter. These record labels, these, the important people, saying like, Oh, I didn't know we went in your song. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Go well, right now and go to all 50 states. I could perform this one song um, everywhere I go. Most people don't have that in their catalog. Like on the West Coast, on the West Coast, they, on the Midwest and the West Coast, they know my music. Like I could perform any song. Somebody in a motherfucking crowd gonna know it. Um, I would say like in a South popping but it's still like it gets played people still know it um out of new york i left my mark out there people know my music out there and them surrounding cities north carolina fucking all them cities over there and this was before i got on tv because what i did when i first started rapping i would go state to state and i would lock in with producers and videographers in them cities and i would drop my videos on their channels just so i could have that fan base like i was really smart with how i program my shit so all this like my music been popping before i got on there it's only going to get more popping part of the reason i went on the show for people that only watch tv like some people a lot of the world like are like that are older than us they don't be on instagram they don't they don't be on instagram they don't be on tiktok like that's like our generation so for that for them generations that's why i went on tv because there's some people that only watch tv 50 percent of people only watch fucking tv so it's like 
Now they know my music now, I bet you that. Hey, Riley. And, yeah. Y'all could just tell how we did the Baddies West and we went on the West Coast tour. Every time I went on stage, nigga, they was going crazy. They knew my shit. And that's for because of the work that I put in prior to going on that show. I didn't go on that show and was like, oh, I want to be a rapper. Like, you talking about a bitch that got... You talking to me. I'm a bitch that got flewed out by every fucking record label from California to New York to the middle of the fucking USA for them to sign me. Like, every fucking label record. I'm known by who matters. And honestly, with my new music, my new music is really about to just break a lot of barriers for me. Because I spent a lot of time on it and I finally, like, mastered my voice and the different voices I used. Like, and at the end of the day, it's like, nobody's talking like me. Nobody's coming how I'm coming. Like, I'm always going to win. It was just really about now how I roll the music out. And I know the music videos are very crucial. So, it's like, we, I'm not doing no playing. Like, y'all watch my career when I was just coming in a game and... This whole time for my career, that's been all me. Like, from shooting my videos to when I got signed. Nigga, when I got signed the first time, I was walking in the record labels with my friend and a music lawyer. So, of course, like, I made a couple mistakes. Not with me getting signed. That was probably one of the best things I did in my life. But I'm talking about as far as, like, how I would roll out my rollout plan for my music and shit. All that shit was just me learning, like, as I went. I didn't have no guide. I didn't have nobody telling me or helping me. Like, y'all really watched a bitch grind from the bottom and still coming up. Like, nobody helped me. Any mistakes I made, I had to learn from it and shit like that. And I'm doing good for a bitch. I came in the game rapping when I was, like, 19 or 18. And I kept myself afloat. Like, I'm doing good for not having a team and shit like that. Like, motherfuckers, my first year rapping, I was already getting hundreds of thousands of views. Like, go look at my old videos. I was already getting hundreds of thousands of views. All that promotion was just off me. Like, I got myself signed. The label itself, because a lot of people don't know that story either. When I got signed, it was the fucking pandemic. I was supposed to go on tour. They had... They was putting me on the fucking future tour. He was having a friends and something like he's doing now. I was supposed to go on that tour. A lot of hella shit. And I didn't get to do none of that because we had to stay in the fucking house. And my label didn't know what to do. Like they didn't know. We, we couldn't shoot videos because all the fucking, um, what are those shits called? The storage. I mean, not the storage. The places where you shoot videos, they weren't allowing us to come. The places we would rent out. And that pushed me back for like damn near a year. If y'all if y'all seen that when the time I got signed and seeing how much music I dropped, it was because of that. So when we finally got like back outside and was able to do what we need to do, my label had my 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 old label. They had fired everybody, bro. Like that shit put them in a hole. Like I had two A and R's. I had like a marketing a market a marketing assistant. I had a publicist. I had all these people, and they fired all of them. So what the fuck you think I'm finna stay around? Like, I don't... Bruh, they let everybody go. And it was like... Then I was having a battle because... Then they, like, didn't have... They didn't have no publicists for me. They didn't have no marketing. This is, they didn't have all these things. And I was... I still learned, though. Like, I was able to work with producers. I was able to, like... Like, figure out how to just perfect my craft. And they gave me a lot of money. So, I mean, who's not happy? Like, and I didn't owe them shit. I owed them one fucking tape. And I got my own record label. Like, I really won. At the end of the day, it's bitches that sign a deal and they're fucked. You bitches can't drop music. You bitches can't drop music. Y'all in debt. None of that stuff happened to me. If I was in debt with any record label, I wouldn't be able to drop on my music channel now. I could drop. 10 songs tomorrow if I wanted to and nobody could tell me shit cause bitch I didn't just sign my life away I wasn't stupid like y'all like bitch my deal was simple 
We're giving you this amount of money. Turn in a tape for us. If you want to continue for tape two or tape three, we're going to up the bag every time and blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to continue for tape two. Why? Because I was dealing with, I had a weird ass management at the time. And, and like I said, everybody, they let everybody go out the record label. So I just understand why would I still be there? And I'm getting a sign. And then, and then, and then not only did everybody leave. They try to put me with, no offense to white people, I love y'all too, but they try to give me some, like, put some white people on my case that didn't even understand my culture and my music. So it was like, I'm telling them, like, let's shoot a video for this record. I know this is going to go crazy. And they're, like, trying to have me, trying to have me use a writer and make, like, some shit, some, some shit that's not me. I wasn't with that shit. I'm not stupid. Ain't no amount of money finna just make me fuck myself up. Like, I got my bag and I was good. I'm like, I know for my next tape that it needs to make sense. And I got, when I left the label, they also gave me like some support money to continue on my journey. So that was like one of the best things that ever happened to me. Like, I left my, I, I didn't continue for my other tapes and I got money to leave nigga i got an extra 200k to say farewell that's the perfect thing i have my own label i'm not in debt with people i motherfucking right now i could sign for some m's and i'm straight that's how you do it that's why i be telling because people don't they just be like why well, really be hating ass bitches y'all hoes be watching my page like these bitches, they act like they hate me, but they literally know everything I've been doing all these years. So, they just sit around watching and don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, that label never shelved me. Bitch, if I was shelved, you wouldn't have heard the, the song like that. I wouldn't have been able to drop that bitch. <laughs> the fuck? You know what being shelved is, bitch? Being shelved means that I can't get another deal. Being shelved means that you can't drop music. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all hoes just mad because I'm really smart. Like, I'm really fucking smart. Y'all can't believe the fact that I'm a fucking win. Like, it is what it is, bitch. Like, I'm really from the streets. I'm not finna let nobody fuck over some that I worked and put all my hard, hard-earned work in life. I hate when people fucking call me while I'm on fucking live. Um, damn, hold on. So, anyways, stay tuned because, yeah, it's going to fuck up on some real shit. I got hella good shit that's happened to me. I got hella opportunities. Just a lot of good shit. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of good shit. You bitches that you bitches that's mad, y'all just gonna be madder. I'm trying to tell y'all, every time I do something, I do it correctly. I execute what I'm supposed to do. Every time you see me, I'm gonna be doing better than from the last time you see me. Every motherfucking time. It only gets better for me every time. Like, not only that, my brain, I'm way smarter. Like, come on now. If a bitch could get out of jail from doing three to four years, I'm talking about, bitch, I came home to nothing. Like, not even a toothbrush, bitch. I had to go in Walmart and steal me some fucking a toothbrush. And like, sign the dotted lines for the shit I signed for. And I came home to not even a toothbrush. And I did it by myself. Bitch, that should just tell you how motherfucking smart I am, bitch. It's, there's no way I'm going to lose. Like, 